Our next step is to take our points that are overlaid on our aggregation grid and use the point sampling tool to add the ID of the squares of the aggregate grid, or the aggregation grid, to the point data and use that to begin doing some exploration of aggregations of our point data in Excel. So let's take this next step. Going back to QGIS, I'm going to go to Point Sampling Tool. Notice that all of the data sets that you want to include in your uh, point sampling have to be turned on and visible. So here's the Point Sampling Tool. I want the data of the point data, which are the uh, working two, and really the only thing I want is the species name and the timestamp. I don't even need the catalog number. And then I need this. This is the ID field of the aggregation grid that we just created. And now I'm going to call this another shape file. So I'll call it working three. Save it. Hit OK. And in a moment or so, we should have our output. All done. And now we're going to open the attributes table of working three, and we see our timestamp, and we see our species name. Those were in the original data set of occurrence data, but we also see this field, which is grid ID, which comes from the coarser aggregated grid squares. And all we're going to do next is uh, select all. We're going to copy, which is this button. And in the next movie, we will start playing with this in Excel. All done.